going on folks it is tuesday morning and it is week three of my recovery as you can see no crutches pretty much weaning off the crutches this week and starting to walk the dog a little bit which is nice getting her out got her little gentle leader teaching her not to pull but this morning had to give her a bath or a shower it's just easier to give her a shower nowadays because she's so big for a bath. Throw her in the shower, wash her off. She's getting a lot more tolerant of the blow dryer. And uh, a little bit later, I am going to shave her down. I've decided I'm gonna do some of the grooming, at least try it. I like it when her coat is short. So I'm gonna take on some of that grooming. Well, I'm gonna attempt to take on some of that grooming. We'll see how it goes. But now it is almost 7.30 and I am about to have a telemedicine call with my surgeon to talk about how the recovery has gone, how I'm feeling, and he's gonna tell me how to take out the stitches because he is about an hour or so away. He said I can take the stitches out if I felt comfortable with that. So I'm gonna attempt to snip the stitches and pull them out. All right, well, that went pretty well, I'd have to say. Uh, talked to the doc about uh, how I'm feeling, just overall general that uh, a lot of the pain is gone. The abdominal pain is much better. Getting in and out of bed a lot easier. Still having some issues when I bend down to pull up my pants or a pair of shorts, just the hinging motion and lifting the foot. So at this point, I'm doing a lot of that sitting on uh, the edge of the bed or or on a stool uh, just to make it easier. He felt things looked good. He felt it was time to take the stitches out. So went ahead and used the suture scissors that I bought on Amazon and uh, got in there, got underneath the stitch. You had to be careful that uh, ideally you would get at the very bottom of the stitch, opposite of the knot, clip that and then tug. It took a little bit of tugging, did a little kind of massaging of the skin, break the skin off of the stitch plastic material and then pulled it out. The bottom one was a little bit harder to get out than the first. He says, in a week from now, I should be good to get in the pool. I just finished my PT appointment. We are continuing to build on exercises. I should start incorporating, doing some bridging and some different leg movements, crossing my leg over center, taking my leg out to the side and behind, bending my knees up, as well as doing some squatting or sitting into a higher chair uh, and just kind of tapping with my butt and back up but now I'm gonna hit a coffee shop, bicycle shop called Maverick that I have been driving by since coming to PT. I grew up in Whittier, but I don't normally come this way. And this place, I believe, way back in the 60s was a service station. So it is the coolest spot. It has roll up doors and it's got a really cool vibe inside. They've got their own Maverick line of apparel and bike gear and they're making coffee. Well, that was an awesome little coffee shop. I can't believe I put off stopping there for so long, but I really don't come this way that often from Brea into Whittier. But now that I'm going to PT, I'm going there twice a week. So I found my new coffee stop every time I go to PT.
What is going on? It has been a few days since I recorded. So I think it's been uh, three days maybe. Just been busy with work, kids sports, all the normal stuff. But today, got a three mile walk in this morning with the dog. Now I'm gonna go run out, do some errands. We're taking the pup for their first puppuccino at Starbucks. The girls have been begging me to take the dog to Starbucks. And she's finally got all of her shots. Everything's good, we've got a day off. We're gonna do that. And then later on today, I am going to hop on the bike, not the Peloton, but the bike on my trainer for the first time since surgery, get in a 20, 25 minute spin just to see how uh, how the seat feels, how the length of the legs, all of that. Might need to drop my seat just a little bit to take a little of the pressure off, but gonna test out getting back on the bike. Well, errands are done. Today, the rest of the day is about cleaning and getting ready for Easter weekend. This weekend, we are having 20 to 24 people over, so lots of cleaning is happening. About to tackle that bathroom. My favorite thing is when this island is completely clear and there's nothing on it. Got decorations, flowers, all of that. If there's one thing that Christina can do. So there's many things she could do. I should be careful how I say that. But there's one thing she does exceptionally well. It's throw parties. Uh, well, getting ready for Easter and of course the ice maker goes down. So tearing it apart, cleaning it up all repaired and what's going on over here making potato salad making potato salad i see bacon so this is a package i'm really excited about rudy project I am super excited to be working with Rudy Project and representing the brand, wearing the brand. So if you guys are interested in getting a big discount from Rudy Project, like this weekend, unfortunately, by the time this comes out, this weekend it would be 40% off helmets and glasses. Like the wing helmet, that thing is awesome, 40% off. And then all the time, 30% off, like the spin shield. I love the spin shield. That's what I wear uh, when I've been racing the last year. So I'll be getting some other colors. Got a hat in here. Let's see what else is in the box. So this is a newer helmet from Rudy Project. It's called the Scudo, must be Scudo. It is super light. I am pumped to be able to try this bad boy out. This helmet, part of their 30% off. What else do we got? These are the Trelex SX. Those are pretty sweet. And look at that neon green, like I like. That fits so well, super light. Man, I don't think I can clip this with one hand. I might end up pinching my skin to get 30% off all the time and 40% off, like this weekend, Easter weekend, 40% off, send me a message. Can't put the code out online, but send me a message through Instagram or through my website, endurus.com. Send me an email and I will send you a special link and sign up to get this discount.
We are prepping a lot of the food for tomorrow, tonight, and finish the day with a 25 minute ride. Well, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For those of you who celebrate Easter, I hope you had a great Easter. Now we are just getting ready because people will be arriving in about four hours. Got lots of things to do, clean up the rest of the backyard. The girls haven't done their egg hunt yet, so I've got to get busy. But I want to say a quick thank you to all of you who leave comments. Give me thumbs up, have subscribed recently. Greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.